Could we be witnessing the most valuable product in our history come to life before our very eyes? I think so, and in this video I'll explain how and why that is. But let's start with this. Tesla keeps sharing the progress of Optimus, and each time they do, it's more impressive. Finally, a selling point for a humanoid robot that people can understand. Nobody likes doing their own laundry, but there's more to this video than meets the eye. Let me speed it up to four times as quick and keep it on repeat. I mean, firstly, doesn't that look human-like? Just amazing. But have you spotted something a little odd yet? Whilst this clip that Elon shared on X does show the excellent dexterity of Optimus, you may have spotted the cheeky little gloved hand making an appearance on the right of the screen. Hmm, could it be there's some teleoperation going on alongside him? Assisting the robot with movements electronically translated via remote gloves? Uh, yes, awkwardly so, as Elon swiftly clarified. Quote, important note, Optimus cannot yet do this autonomously, but certainly will be able to do this fully autonomously and in an arbitrary environment. Won't require a fixed table with box that has only one shirt. Right, you know me, I love Tesla, SpaceX, all of Elon's achievements, but I would rather see the transparent truth of Optimus's progress rather than being a little misled perhaps by the staged abilities of Optimus. Just zoom out and show us the full picture. It's still impressive. It would be far more honest to show the guy in the suit next to him, like in this clip of the first generation Tesla bot. I guess we all make mistakes, even Tesla, but also dear audience, know that I am not such a Tesla fanboy that I won't call out what I consider to be a slightly disingenuous clip, although no one else appears to be doing so. I'm making no excuses for Tesla here. Am I right in doing so? Let me know in the comments below. But a bit more context and clarification of Optimus's goal here from Tesla engineer Milan Kovac who posted on X. Increasingly complex tasks through teleoperation to verify that our current hardware has the dexterity to do those tasks, now mostly software and artificial intelligence work, collect the data needed to train end-to-end -end neural nets to do it autonomously, just like with the coloured block sorting, unsorting we've shown last year, and accumulate enough data diversity to generalise faster. And who wouldn't welcome help with folding clothes? Join us! And what better way to recruit more of the world's top engineers than to show the exciting things that the Tesla bot team are working on. I love the slightly odd dangling Tesla bots just hanging around. <laughs> I'll see myself out. What we're seeing is part of the process in advancing Optimus. It needs to be trained in this manner currently until there is enough data to train its neural nets, its brain, to carry out tasks autonomously. The end goal being to show it a video or even a human carrying out a task and it will copy what it sees, but autonomously make all the independent micro movements necessary to do it successfully. As dexterity improves along with its software and AI, Optimus will evolve and be capable of carrying out not just folding one t-shirt, but autonomously walking up to a laundry basket, pick it up, place it on a worktop, pick up an item of clothing, lay it on an ironing board, maybe spray the clothes from a groinal attachment before ironing them, folding them and putting them away for you. Jump in the gun a bit? Yeah, maybe. Still, seems bonkers just imagining it, eh? But do you realise what we are witnessing today? This is the beginnings of an all-purpose humanoid robot with physical capabilities already equal to that of a slow constipated human today. At the rate of progress we've seen already, I'd be shocked if we don't see Tesla bots working alongside production lines by the end of this year. If you appreciate my efforts so far, please do press that like button, it really helps spread my videos on YouTube. Thanks very much. Remember, there is zero competition for Optimus. Whilst it might look like Boston Dynamics and others have superior functioning robots, they are all pre-programmed to carry out tasks whereas Tesla's AI approach to machine learning will have Optimus leaping ahead in terms of its functionality. The truly groundbreaking jump we are all watching unfold, or fold, <laughs> will come from the advancing neural network brain of Tesla's bot. In order for them to be fully autonomous and self-learning, they require an enormous amount of video training data, which Tesla has the monopoly on as they've been collecting real-world data from their fleet of millions of cars for some time. Tesla cars are already data gathering robots on wheels, as my slightly creepy YouTube banner suggests. Also, Tesla has the sheer volume of computing power thanks to their Dojo supercomputer, which will be used to train Optimus's neural network, just like with Tesla vehicles. Here's another reason Tesla will dominate the robot industry. It's the same reason that will keep Tesla at the forefront of the auto industry. Cost. Thanks to Tesla's vertical integration, where it makes practically all of the components for its cars. Tesla have also carried that on for Optimus, where they build their own actuators, which are these red bits, devices that produce a motion, of which Optimus has 28 of them. The actuators are designed to be so strong that these leg actuators can lift a half-ton grand piano. Tesla also makes the battery pack, 
full self-drive computer and will definitely make the body panels as well as other components for Optimus as well. My point here being, Tesla, and SpaceX to be fair, have rewritten auto manufacturing with the Gigapress, the electric motor advancements, Octavalve heat pump, their own alloy for the Cybertruck, plus their own software that runs all Teslas. So many components made in-house and at industry-leading costs. No other company has the cash, the capabilities, the leadership, the vision to produce Tesla bots at scale for what will be a reasonable cost to the consumer. From cars to rockets to robots, Elon Musk knows how to manufacture at scale in order to drive costs down and make products that are affordable. The Model 2 will eventually be the product that delivers that ultimate goal for Tesla cars. Tesla is positioning itself to not only dominate the entire auto industry by making more profitable vehicles per year than anyone else, not only aiming to dominate the transport sector with the goal of self-driving robo-taxis, the semi-truck and more vehicles to come, not only aiming to dominate the energy sector with battery energy storage systems for homes and businesses, creating literal money printers for those owners thanks to Tesla's auto bidder software that micromanages energy arbitrage, not only aiming to dominate AI with world-leading compute power and data gathering capabilities, but the final ultimate disruptive piece of Tesla will be Optimus robots, which have the ability to disrupt the entire global labour market, which is worth around just $30 trillion. Do you think Tesla might have done some calculations as to the possible revenue stream of Tesla bots? Not just the sales price, but the endless options of monthly subscriptions for it to carry out various tasks. Perhaps an all capabilities factory robot subscription. A builder bot subscription for construction projects. A homeowner's subscription to carry out chores, gardening, cleaning, folding up the washing. Can you imagine the disruption to come if they really do become reality? I get that right now looking at this fella is perhaps a little difficult to imagine, but back in the day no one knew that a computer would be in every home, let alone a smartphone in the pocket of practically every human. There are around 15 billion mobile devices operating worldwide today. Elon's prediction of a one-to-one -one ratio of bots to humans someday, that's 8 billion bots if you didn't know, is at least plausible when considering the history of disruptive technology, computers, mobile phones, etc. Only a Tesla bot could well be the most valuable product to humans that ever existed. Just how useful a humanoid robot would be for both personal and business use is only limited to our imaginations right now. How equally amazing and terrifying the future will be. If you want to know more about the robot uprising, I made a fun, light-hearted look at our future overlords, I mean, harmless Tesla bots, just here. Click away and enjoy. Huge thanks as always to my Patreon supporters. Link in the description below if you want to support me for some extra perks. Chuck us a like before you go if you haven't already. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.